What is going on everybody? Welcome back to your 28th CSS tutorial and this is going to be an amazing tutorial because in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you guys how to apply styles to more than one element at a time because before we had to take each element and apply one style at a time and it took a lot of time and I'm just way too lazy for that so I'm going to teach you guys how to save some time and also we're going to be learning something else if I don't run out of time in this video so the first thing we need is just go ahead and add some normal text on your web page uh, not up there down here in your body this is normal text and under this just go ahead and make a header one uh, you can actually make whatever header you want but I chose header one why not and go ahead and write, write like uh, this is header one in it and under your header go ahead and make a paragraph there's my opening P and in your paragraph text just write this is a paragraph or anything you want so anyways like I said what I want to teach you guys how to do is apply styles to more than one element at a time so before what we did is we had a tag for example our header tag which we would put h1 and then we would go ahead in our curly braces apply whatever style property value we wanted to and then under that we would have another thing like p for paragraph and then in here we would apply whatever same style we want but what if you had this crazy idea that I want to apply the same style to two different tags. For example, I want to turn all the text in my paragraph red and also all the text in my header red. So if we wanted to apply the same style to more than one element at a time, here's a nice little shortcut for that. Instead of writing on, on several different lines, we can go ahead and write H1 just like before and we can write a comma and then after that go ahead and add your other element on the same exact line so this saves you the trouble of not only having to add many elements but on one line write all the elements you want you just have to remember to separate them with a comma and then you only apply that rule once and when you apply it once it's gonna affect all the elements you told it to so like I said it saves you some time so let's go ahead and check out an example right now if we go ahead and take the property color set it equal to red or something simple something that shows up good and go ahead and save that now check it out the normal text stayed the same right there because it didn't get affected with our CSS but the header and paragraph both turn red even though they're on the same line and we only said that CSS rule color red one time it applied it to both the paragraph and header one element so again like you can see this saves you a whole lot of time whenever you're applying the same style to many different elements and I did it with two elements in this example but you can do it with three four or five however many you want so anyways that's what I wanted to show you for the first half of this tutorial now let's just go ahead and delete everything because that was simple enough what I want to show you guys now is something called span now before I taught you guys how to apply styles to entire elements for example in the in the lesson I just showed you how would you apply the style to an entire header or how would you apply a style to an entire paragraph but say for example you have a paragraph let me go ahead and make one real quick on your screen like this and there's a bunch of text in it let me uh... let me just type some stuff this is my first para and i love carrots and apple pie so you have this wonderful paragraph on your screen and this website's looking pretty good so far but you get this crazy idea that maybe you want to apply a CSS property to you know maybe just a couple words well we know that we can't apply it to the paragraph or it's gonna affect everything so how do we solve that problem well what XHTML did or the wonderful people who made it they invented a special XHTML tag and it's called span SP a n and whenever we want to affect just a group or a block of text what we need to do is we need to surround that text with our span tag so let me go ahead and surround like um i love carrots with a special span tag now this is a double tag so it has an opening and closing span and let me go ahead and end it right here span and now you're saying all right bucky so how do i actually apply a css rule to this well 
again just like any other element just go ahead and type the element name which is span up here and I'm not just making this word up you can't like write your name and put it in here and expect it to work span is actually a built-in thing so you know don't go making up words on me so anyways in your curly brackets just write it like you write any other normal CSS property so let's go ahead and uh, something different than color let's go ahead and change the font weight this time uh, let's change this to bold and also might as well change the color to color uh, change it to green that should look pretty good so now let's go ahead and save this and refresh and check it out none of the paragraph is affected but your span which is pretty much like custom made tags that might be an easier way to understand it that is the only part that's affected so if you ever come across this problem where you want to apply a CSS rule but you don't want to affect the whole tag you can insert these custom span tags and then only the text that's in between those tags is going to be affected so that's pretty sweet and again like I said span is a keyword that you need to use you just can't use any word you want like your name or your favorite food you need to wor use the word span or else your browser is not going to understand it so anyways that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial so um thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my next lesson